So, um, thanks a lot for the warm welcome and thank you to Sid for the opportunity to come and speak to you all. Um, over the next 20 minutes, 10 slides or so, um, I want to just give everybody a flavour of um, what SDLC is at Goldman Sachs and where um, GitLab um, slotted into that journey. Um, so a little bit about me. Um, I joined Goldman 20 years ago uh, as a graduate. Um, over that time, I probably had like four or five roles um, in infrastructure, front office technology. I worked in information security, so SOTI's team for four or five years uh, back in the day. Um, and my current job is I run the SDLC engineering team uh, in, in the UK. Um, for those that don't know us, um, Goldman Sachs is, um, is a global investment bank. Um, people probably know us best for um, trading and traditional investment banking, although I'm sure many of you will have seen that recently we've um, moved into um, like retail with offerings like Marcus and things like the um, contributions we made to, to, to make the Apple credit card possible. Um, and last year, we, we generated a little over $35 billion in revenue. Um, SDLC Engineering, my team, um, we basically provide and look after the platform that serves about 9,000 engineers at the firm. Uh, I think we consider that we, SDLC Engineering is increasingly at the forefront and at the center, and you'll see this in later diagrams in the presentation of like really driving strategic engineering transformation at Goldman's. And we're also seen, I think, as a significant um, reason to come and work here, the platforms we provide. And so consequently, if we don't pick the right platform, then um, we can be a reason not to come and work here. So our, our team, we feel, is important in, in, in many aspects of the firm. Um, additionally, we, we, we are responsible as well as providing platforms for people to write code in terms of um, the processes and tools for people to acquire and manage new languages alike and their associated ecosystems. Um, so in the kind of dark days before GitLab, I just wanted to give you a flavor of, of, of what we had at Goldman's. Um, so we actively use, and my team supports, depending on the way you cut it, about 10 individual SDLCs. These have been developed over the years. Um, some of them are kind of getting on for a quarter of a century old now. Um, we have that many because they were sort of developed in different areas of the business. Um, we're a regulated firm, obviously, so a lot of those SDLCs come with extremely important ceremonies, processes, approval chains that mean that like, that's why they still continue to exist today. They also reflect different styles of, of development that people want to have in the bank. Um, so some people prefer monorepo, some people prefer wavefront, some people prefer calendar-based deploys. And we try and cater for um, flexibility for different types of application. And as I said, uh, many of those have had sort of over, up to and including a quarter of a century of contributions, improvements, and development. I, I think a, a really important point when we were coming up with this, with these slides, with myself and my colleagues, was that we sort of deeply feel that the SDLC is increasingly at the center of like a much broader ecosystem for um, engineering at, at Goldman's. So there are like obvious things that are like committing code and IDEs and um, building software and what have you. And then there's you know some less obvious perhaps adjacencies like um, uh, you know policies and monitoring and issue tracking and all of those kind of things. So as we kind of looked to try and involve our journey out of some of these older SDLCs to more, towards more modern ones, we had to kind of consider how GitLab was going to fit into this and which things it could replace and which things it would sit alongside. Um, clearly, we can't replace every single circle around the edge of this in one go, so 
the kind of integration engineering was very much top of mind as we as we looked out towards um, um, taking on GitLab. Um, so around about November 2017, we were we were given quite a strong mandate by our CIO that we wanted to provide a Git-based experience for our developers at Goldman Sachs that was supported and run by the SDLC engineering team. Um, I think it was seen that it was, it was increasingly becoming more strange to new people joining the bank that they would join and would be writing code in something that was not Git. So, uh, the, probably the most common SDLC we had at the time was um, quite a lot of custom tooling based around subversion. And I think people were joining and looking at it and saying, um, you know, this is, this is I'm not something I'm used to. It's not something I used at university or at home. And it just looked increasingly anachronistic. Um, I think it, it also sort of corresponded with a time where the firm was trying to look to um, really embraced cloud, embraced containerized solutions like Kubernetes, and um, so those three things together kind of generated this mandate for us to go and look for um, a Git-based solution. We had had a little pilot some years ago with, um, it was actually like Git and Gerrit, and we, and I think the learning experience from that was we really wanted something that was a more complete, like, out-of-the-box solution for many more of those things around the, the diagram. Um, and, um, and obviously, because I'm here talking today, um, we, we chose GitLab. And we deployed, we, we picked it at around December 2017. And we spent the first three months of 2018 um, kind of engineering it at Goldman to fit in with some of those other things around that diagram and some of the other things we have at Goldman. So, for example, the Postgres that sits behind GitLab, we wanted to use a Postgres that our DBA team run for us. So that sort of thing, um, you know, across all the set of um, bits of infrastructure inside GitLab, we, we wanted to... Um, you know, we, we had to sit and engineer that properly. And we went live with it um, around uh, the end of April. Um, so it was, um, it was a great success. Um, we, when it went live in April, I think there was a, a huge amount of expectation from our 9,000 engineers at Goldman about um, like what GitLab could do for them um, and um, very quickly so all through um, the beginning of May you know projects were moving at an enormous rate um, either new projects being created on GitLab and um, or projects moving off the older SDLCs onto GitLab um, I think people just loved the fact that it was a much, much, you know, it was a really high quality solution um, on various different axes. So, you know, it was, they obviously, because it's a, it's a vendor product, we, they have a lot of really high quality documentation and training. I, you know, I used to get asked um, all the time, like, how do I do X in GitLab or where is the documentation for Y in GitLab? And invariably, we could just direct people to the official GitLab docs or, or perhaps a YouTube video that someone had done on it. And, and obviously that's, that's a luxury that I, I know it sounds trite, but we never had that before with any of our homegrown SDLC. So that was, that was wonderful. And like all the way through, um, you know, 2018, you know, I used to get asked questions about like, you know, how do I make Maven work with GitLab? And I'm like, well, you can just go and there's a document on it or a YouTube video or umpteen Stack Overflow questions. It, it was fantastic. Um, my th additional things to, to touch on. Um, my team um, sits alongside a quality assurance engineering team and also an agile team. So as well as kind of arriving at a time where the firm wanted to do more things in cloud 
and um, more things in containerized um, type solutions. We also very much wanted to kind of embrace shift left, as, as many of the other speakers have alluded to. Um, GitLab provided a very like natural way for that to happen. So we've shown a couple of examples on this slide. Um, so, uh, for example, uh, my colleagues in quality assurance engineering have wrote some software that kind of makes a quality assessment of people's code. And as people push merge requests up to GitLab, it, it uses the, the merge request and the kind of rich um, sort of markdown based interface that that provides to kind of inform developers in a, in a timely and shift leftish fashion, um, you know, where they could do better or, or, you know, what the quality assessment of their code is. And as my colleague you heard my colleague Soti say we've, we've, we're some way down the road of introducing um, you know, more and more scanners and controls and checks, which, because we're a bank, we have to have. And, and the, the CICD pipeline and the very concept of a merge request makes that significantly easier than it ever was on any of the predominantly head-based solutions that you might have with Subversion or CVS. Um, I think um, we, I, and uh, you can see the, the points on the bottom of the slide there, like we really didn't have to sell it. I, I, I can't stress that enough. I mean, people just picked it up. They, they really enjoyed using it, especially people that had used the, um, the, the older SDLCs at the firm, giving them GitLab was like they'd been like living on water for 10 years and we suddenly gave them like a nice glass of beer. Um, they, you know, they, stuff just moved. Um, the, in terms of like the road to the implementation, so perhaps unlike some of the other presenters, um, we feel very much that we're still on the, the road and the journey. Um, we, although we've moved, we have around six or 7,000 projects now on GitLab. Um, I still have an enormous amount of projects on the old REST DLCs that I have to think about. Our forward is very much to try and coalesce everything to one SDLC um, onto GitLab. Um, the, um, and, and most of the reasons or the impediments to doing that other than just sheer quantity of um, repos. So for example, in some of the older SDLCs, I have about 25,000 repositories that I have to think about. Um, we, we continue to think about and consider our control surface. It's very important to us at Goldman Sachs. We, we, we take our uh, regulatory and control responsibilities very seriously. So as we engineer and think about more controls um, on GitLab um, and, and we build more controls there, it ungates more projects being able to move from these older SDLCs onto GitLab. Um, and, um, the, and the other point is, is that we're, we're also um, some way down the road of the initial deploy we did of GitLab was on-premise. We deployed it onto an on-premise um, Kubernetes cluster. Um, but with the firm really um, having an increasingly strong appetite to move to cloud, um, we, we want to basically redeploy GitLab um, in a private instance in Amazon and then um, move things, move everything to that instance. Um, we feel that that has a number of advantages, but not least of which is that it facilitates you know, proper cloud native development. As many of the other presenters have indicated, it's the sort of thing that we want to do at Goldman Sachs. And we think that GitLab is the right tool for the job and is front and center um, in, in providing that capability to our engineers. Um, some kind of closing remarks. Um, it's, it's been a real roller coaster ride. Um, it's been like working with GitLab. I, I remember going out for dinner with Sid um, probably about six months ago and 
we were asking, I was talking to him about like how he built his company and the thing that he really articulated to me was that it, the, the key thing he felt was really important was like transparency and openness of information and, and that's one thing I personally feel we've got out of the relationship with, with GitLab. It does feel like a true partnership um, and you know we, we can see all their code, we can read their code, we can look at their code, everything is public, we discuss everything on um, on GitLab issues, I mean, we do have some obviously confidential things that we, we have on, on private issues, but, but for the greater part, we just use the public GitLab issues to, to engage with dialogue, in dialogue with GitLab. And I think we have a very fluid uh, relationship and, and partnership with the company. Um, I think it's, it's been key as, as SDLC has come alongside Agile and Quality Assurance Engineering. It's been an absolutely vital enabler for us to drive the firm forward, as, uh, as it's sort of described in books like Accelerate, to a real Agile, shift left, pr real, true CI, CD um, patterns. Um, had we not had a product like GitLab, or indeed GitLab, I, we, you know, um, we would be significantly further behind on, on, on that journey that we very much uh, want to continue on. Um, and, you know, as, as obviously many of you know, um, we, we liked it so much that we also invested in the, in the company too, which I think the fact that we use it and we invest in it hopefully is proof that we, we, you know, we very much believe in the product and believe in the value it provides to, to Goldman and the engineers that work there. Um, so with that, I, um, I think I'm two minutes to go, so I will close there.